Leo TV Live Broadcasting. Welcome to Bernal for the third place game between Belgium and Spain. The two losing semi-finalists from yesterday. Spain lost to the Czech Republic as Belgium lost to the Netherlands. The record of Team Belgium, and they are a away team in this game, is three wins, two losses. They won with Ukraine, 8-3. Uh, they won with Lithuania, 8 nothing. They lost to the Czech Republic, 0-17. Uh, then they won a game, the quarterfinal game, with Germany, 3-1. And yesterday they put up some fight, in, but they lost to Netherlands, 5-10. to Now the Spanish team is lining up, and their record is... 4 to 1 they lost only one game yesterday's semi-final to the Czech Republic in the round robin they defeated Poland 5-1 then Austria 3 nothing and Great Britain 4 to 1 in the quarterfinal they won over Croatia 10 to nothing and yesterday's game was uh, drama till the end and in they lost to the Czech Republic 3 to 7 I'm Richard Kanya and with me is Slavik Novotny for both of these teams. Uh, was unlucky yesterday. Uh, definitely both of them saw themselves in the final and thus qualifying for the World Cup next year. But they still have a chance to make up for that bitter feeling from yesterday with a bronze medal. as the rest of the Spanish team is lining up. We will have the umpires for the game, home player umpire Moimir Jankovic at first base from the Netherlands, Roy van der Wateringen, and third base David Kulhanek. And now the national anthems.
So those were the national anthems of Belgium and Spain, respectively. Now as the coaches umpire and umpires meeting is underway by home plate. The designated home team, Spain, will take position in the field. We'll introduce the players. Starting pitcher for España is Eric Izquierdo behind the plate. According to what we have is uh, Ivan Alba, actually. Might be a change. Uh, first baseman Jose Aleman, second base Vicente Velasquez, shortstop Eduardo Moreto, third baseman Francisco Riestra, and in left field Alejandro Sainz, center field Luis Rodriguez, and right fielder. Roybert de Sena. That's the Spanish defense. That will face the Belgian batting order. The combined batting average of the Belgians is 235. Team Belgian will be led off by Sam Bulens, the center fielder number 42. We are getting ready to start the game. And again, as you can hear, our booth is close to the Spanish dugout. So you may hear some chanting and some other Spanish words. So let's see. And it's Ivan Alba behind the dish, number 13. Because Kinsley is a pitcher, if I'm not mistaken. He pitched yesterday in the game against the Czech Republic as the Spanish team was trying to come back. It was just a small typo as Kinsley wears number 23 on his uniform while Alba wears number 13. So in, in fact, Ivan Alba at catcher. Yeah, he played in all five games so far. The Spanish record, as we mentioned before, is four wins, one loss. The same record as Germany before the fifth place game in which Germany Defeated France 5-1. to one. And now the game for the third place, which is about to start in a couple of seconds. I would say some villains coming to the plate. As Moimir Jankovic is cleaning it to have a better view on the strike zone. And here we go with the first pitch of the bronze medal game here at Bernal Municipal Stadium. And the very first pitch hits the batter, so the very first batter after the very first pitch takes the base. And that brings Benjamin Gofa to the plate, number one, playing second base. He switched positions with uh, Lucas Rizzi in the field from uh, yesterday's semi-final against Kingdom of Netherlands. As also the second pitch hits the batter. So back to back, hit by pitches and now Moimir Jankovic walking up towards the mound to talk to Eric Esquerdo. An interesting start of the game. Two for two. One sec. How much money do you still have? Okay, uh, two pitches. Oh, really? Okay. So okay. as to the pitch okay. count, it's go yeah. pretty low. Well, I have 50 euros on me. Fortunately for oh, okay. 
the two hitters, the pitches were not clocked too high. And we see some action in Spanish bullpen as Lucas Rizzi is coming to bat. And now Esquerdo finds the strike zone. The first successful pitch of his outing. So no balls, one strike, runners on first and second. And another hit batter. So all, all letters here. Base is loaded after four pitches. That might be a record which brings the Spanish manager to the mound. Maybe he was listening to George Carling, famous speech on sports, <laughs> as he recommended changing the baseball rules, that after hitting a batter, the batter is out, to shorten up the baseball game and make it more attractive. So in 15 minutes, if you have good pitchers, you could be home and watching some other sport. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case, as we have bases loaded after, as I said, four pitches. Three batters hit by pitch. And now at bat, the cleanup. Hitter number 43, Rob Lewis. And a ball. Unprecedented start. The bronze medal game. Two. Now your career is very extensive. I wonder if you've ever witnessed anything even no. similar. No. <laughs> There's always a surprise in baseball. And strike is called. So two balls, one strike. As you may recall, the shortest baseball joke is, I know it all. <laughs> and ball three, three and one. Longest at bat so far. And now Esquerdo forced to aim for the strike zone. Otherwise, his opponent will take the lead. Foul ball, so it's three and two with bases loaded. Weird start of the game. But if you recall yesterday's game, Belgium has a pretty strong start. Inside, this is the zone. A basis loaded walk will open the score of this game. Belgium takes the lead. So three hit by pitches and a walk will bring Tim Verachtert, the third baseman, to the plate. So four free bases, so to say. Pitch in there, strike one. Uh, after these few first at bats, the Belgian hitters will probably take their time before they swing the bat. Know that Esquerdo is struggling. But he 
finds it, 99 kilometers per hour, breaking pitch. Nice breaking pitch. That's for strike two. And another breaking pitch this time. This is inside. One and two to Tim Frachtert. Struck out five times, 15 at bats. And this one is hit. Towards the third base side. The throw is off target, but Ivan Alba will step on home plate before Sir so Benjamin Goffa is able to slide in. So a forced out at home is the first out of the first inning. And Axel Pusmans, Belgian catcher, now for his at bat. That's also kind of unusual to make the first out at home plate. <laughs> Now a sharp hit towards the shortstop out there and a double play that ends the inning. So the Belgian offense only generates one run off of this bases loaded with nobody out. And now it's up to the Spanish players to answer. with their bats. Or, as we saw, the Belgian team didn't need the bats for the first four. Well, let's introduce uh, the Belgian defense on the mount, Robin Rufens. Now the dish, Axel Pusmans, first baseman, Rob Lewis, second baseman, Benjamin Goffard, shortstop, Lucas Ritzi, third baseman, Tim Verachter, and the outfielders from the left, Jeremy, Boyle Eber, Sam Bulens, and Eve Boosmans. Apparently in a good mood. Belgian players dancing. So a song. Actually, sung in Spanish. It's a nice Sunday afternoon here at the venue, and more fans are finding their way to the outfield. There's a large group of Belgian supporters sitting behind behind the screen. So as Robin Ruvens is getting ready, I can remind you that this program is brought to you by Playo TV, our partner for live broadcasting. There are some clouds on the sky, but not too many. So I don't think that there will be any rain. And as we said in our earlier game, we were extremely lucky with the weather because the forecast was not too good. It did rain. Actually, there was a big thunderstorm breaking some trees. But that all happened in the night. and No actual weather disruption of the schedule of this tournament. Also, the round robin, the preliminary groups went pretty smoothly and there were no ties everything was quite clear so we can watch the final game now the game for the bronze medal as Vicente Velasquez is coming to bat 
And takes first pitch for a ball. Down the middle for a strike. So already Robin Rufins starting off a little better than his Spanish counterpart. Make that two strikes on Vicente Velasquez. Rufins uh, pitched a complete nine innings in that win against Lithuania. That was back on day two. Belgium won eight nothing. And Velasquez is hitting three hundred thirty-three at this tournament. He's six for eighteen. And he hits one to the shortstop. Lucas Rizzi, and there's the out. Long throw across the diamond, but perfect strike by Lucas Rizzi. Now batting number 13, catcher Ivan Alba, as you watch the out at first base. Saw from the edge of the grass. Lucas Rizzi. Right on the money. The ground ball back to Robin Rufins. He'll draw it towards first and just will toss it towards Rob Lewis at first or a quick second out. Six pitches by Robin Rufins for two outs. Now the first baseman, Jose Aleman. And that. Aleman batting 263. With a 391 on base percentage. He's through three walks. Now he's standing in the box with two balls, no strike. And that's ball three. That's a walk, so the first Spanish runner is on base. And now coming to bat is Roybert Tejena. He's got very similar numbers to the previous batter, also 263 batting average. And 19 at bats, collected five hits. One extra base hit. This one misses high, fifth bow in a row. Here's the pitch, strike called. One and one. Here in the bottom of the first inning. Spain trailing one nothing. Pitch it towards the third baseman, Tim Verachter, who makes the throw in time. So after first inning. The score is Belgium 1, Spain nothing. And we'll be back.
Cleo TV, live broadcasting. Welcome back to Brno, to the Municipal Stadium here in the South Moravian metropolis. As you can see, the church of St. Peter called Petrov. And also the score. one nothing for Belgium after a strange or weird first inning with three batters hit and one walked. Now we've uh, seen Belgians take an early lead. You don't have to date way back. It was in the last game that they played in the loss to the Dutch. They took the lead three to nothing in the semifinal yesterday. As Izquierdo starts Robin Rufens. Interestingly, the Belgian team not taking advantage of a designated hitter. So the pitcher at bat. And his count is 1-1. One, one. This one is hit right to the shortstop, uh, Eduardo Moredo, who makes the throw to Jose Aleman at first base for an out. One out, top of the second inning. And now batting number 12, playing right field, Ives Pusmans. As you watch the replay of the out, There's the first pitch shown, bunt shown, taken back for a strike. Running the third baseman closer. And that's a fly ball to right field. Roberto Decena makes the catch. Two away. Quick start. The second inning, definitely a better start on the defensive side for the Spanish as than in the first inning. As number nine hitter, Jeremy Boyleba is facing the first pitch called strike. With two outs, nobody on. And takes strike two. This is outside 118 kilometers per hour. Swing, foul ball, one and two. Spain used four pitchers in yesterday's game. Another foul ball, so it's still one and two. One misses low outside, two and two. Another foul. Seven pitches to Boy Leba. This one is called in flight by Eduardo Moreto. So that's the 
top part of second inning yeah, in which only three batters came up to bat so three up three down and we're going to the bottom of the second inning as Luis Rodriguez the center fielder from Spain will come to bat Rodriguez batting 278 in the tournament, only has five hits and 18 at bats. One RBI, which he won't most likely change in this at bat. There's only one way he could add one run in that category on his stats. So as we're getting ready for the bottom part of the second inning, there was a game between Poland and Russia in which Russia won 8-1. We'll give you the all the results a little later. Banchon, the ball misses high, so it's one ball, no strike. And strike is called. One and one. And this one misses low and outside. Breaking pitch, 111 kilometers per hour and this one is it foul close to our booth so it's two and two low or on the two Rodriguez hitting 278, 5 out of 18. This time. And this time it's going to change. 6 out of 19. As he drilled that over the head of Tim Farachter into shallow left field. Picked up by Jeremy Boyleba. So a leadoff single for Rodriguez. And that'll bring the uh, left fielder, Alejandro Sainz. Who's been hitting 353 in this tournament, what? 6 out of 17. And he takes the ball. Strange move on the pitch. Working on reading the ball, a pickoff move to first base. Not in time. One ball, run on. First base, this one misses high. In the stealing attempt, the Spanish team is one in seven. Probably the lowest stealing average. The pitch was called strike, so it's two and one. Runner goes. Get up in the air and caught, diving by Jeremy Boyleba. Great catch. Just took away a hit from Alejandro Sainz. 
Well, he was up on his knees pretty soon. Uh, Rodriguez was already between second and third. He had to turn around. The question is, did he touch second base on his way back? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, the pitch was thrown. So. Because very often players just run back straight to first base without touching the back for second time, which is in the rule book. On the other hand, the defense very seldom realizes that. <laughs> Foul ball, one and one. One out to Luis Sayol, a designated hitter. Runner goes, pitch is low. The and throw all the way to center field. Rodriguez will stay on second as Sam Billings was there with the backup. A poor throw by Axel Busmans. Off target. And that now runner in scoring position. And that makes it two and eight for Team Spain. As you can see, was off and high, but good backup by some violence. Some violence, right? Foul ball makes it one and two. Tying run on second base. One out, bottom of the second inning. And that's a strike. So it all strikes out looking in that breaking pitch by Rufens. That'll bring the third baseman, Francisco Riestra. Rias Trapp is, hit, is hitting 294, 5 out of 17. Also, five strikeouts, which is the second most of the Spanish, Spanish players. And pitch is called a strike, so no balls, one strike, two outs, runner on the second base. it by pitch. So the first Spanish batter to be hit by pitch in this game. So that brings to bat Eduardo Moredo, who's been hitting 500 in this tournament, hitting ninth. He has six hits out of 12 at bats. Two strikeouts, two walks, and two hit by pitch. Now that goes straight to Tim, Tim Frechtet, who makes the forced out at third base, ending inning number two. And we'll have a short break. TV live broadcasting. Welcome back to the Municipal Stadium in Brno. As you can see, Spain is trailing. Belgium won nothing here at the European Baseball Championship under 23. And the Belgium will start the third inning with the leadoff batter, Sam Bulens, playing 
center field. He was the first one to get on base and to score on a series of hit by pitches and then a walk. So he's has no at bat in this game yet as we watch a playful dog in the stands. So here comes Bjorns, center fielder, facing Izquierdo for the second time. And that's the second pitch he sees. <laughs> Strike in the lower part of the zone. 0-1-1. On the Belgian center fielder hanging over the outside. He grounds a two. Shortstop, Moreno. Throw across to Aleman for the first out of the inning. A quick 6-3 ground out. Will bring Benjamin Goffal, the second baseman. Also hit by a pitch in his first plate appearance in this game. Goffal is hitting 312. 5 out of 16 with a three base hit. And this so one is a single. Air. Lance. Center field. So the runner is aboard with one out. Top of the third inning, and Lucas Rizzi also hit by pitch in his first at bat. And we promise to stop saying that with the next batter. So Rofa takes the lead. As and lines line. out to the third baseman, Riestra. Goffal manages to return in time, diving back to first to beat that, that throw. And Riestra leaping to. Good read by Benjamin Goffal. And it's tough. We're forced from first base, but he did the. Job done. Runner goes, and here's the throw to. Throw is in time, but off target. And as he oh. overslid that second base, go fall it go, and and Moreto was there for the tag. Nice slide at first, but. They didn't stay in contact with the bag. <laughs> Initially that throw by Ivan Alba was in time, but off target towards the third base side, where it's tougher for, for the fielder to apply the tag. So the initial call by Roy van de Watteringen, the first base umpire was safe. But as Benjamin go fall, it go off the bag. Third out of the top half, of the third inning is called. Going into the bottom of the third, the home half, or the designated home team Spain. Also, the leadoff batter starting off the third inning, Vicente Velasquez, the second baseman. Velasquez grounded out in the first at bat. He's been hitting 333, six out of 18, so now it's six out of 19. With one extra base hit, two strikeouts, and four walks. So his on base percentage is 555. As we enter the bottom half of the third inning, so in the world of numbers, since he grounded out in his first at bat of this game, he should reach base in this plate appearance. Or in the next one. So strike called on Velasquez. 
Breaking pitch misses outside. And that's in there. One and two. Both teams have one hit. This one goes to Tim Verachtert, who makes a nice throw to Rob Lewis on first base, and that's 5-3 out. So if Velasquez wants to keep his numbers, he has to get a hit in his next at bat. But that's easier said than done. Now the catcher, Ivan Alba, up to bat. Strike is called, so that's the second pitch he sees. And this one, a short hit picked up by the catcher Axel Pusmans, who throws it to first base Rob Lewis for an out, two outs. As Jose Aleman, the first baseman, walked in his first at bat. And he's hitting 263 in this tournament. Swings on a pitch for strike one. Sort of changed his mind about the swing during the actual process. One misses low. One and one. Down in the dirt. Number two. Robin Rubens with a pitch and that's hit right as Lucas Ritzi who makes the throw to Rob Lewis at first base and that's inning number three over and we should have an interview with somebody from the Spanish team. Awesome thing, who it is it? 
She is Francisco Gonzalez from Team Spain. I would like to ask you about yesterday's game. It was pretty close and tight. It was a drama till the end. So how did you see that game? Well, yesterday it was a really good game. I was pitching. So the three first, game, uh, first inning, it was really close. But I think we did make the, the small thing on the field in the defense and also in the offense because we had I think only six hits something like that I can't remember now but I think if if we can get more more hit in that game maybe it was different but that's what I think about that game yesterday. Okay now you're playing uh, team Belgium uh, for the third for the bronze medal game uh, bronze medal how do you th see this game? You started off pretty wild. Well, this game right now is like quiet game. You know, I think we have to wake out from from this Neymar because we are not hitting too much. So we have to do if we want to win this game. Okay. Thank you very much. Good luck with the rest of the game. Bye. So thank you for the interview. That was Francisco Gonzalez was the winning pitcher in the three nothing win against Austria but losing pitcher in uh, last night's battle between the Czech Republic and Spain for the final both teams actually had seven hits in that uh, yesterday's evening game and now Rob Lewis after he singled into left field was followed by Tim Frachtert with a sacrifice bunt and now Axel Pusmans reaches base on balls. So with one away and runners on first and second, it's the pitcher Robin Rufens who steps up to the plate. He grounded out to Eduardo Moreto, the shortstop, his last time up. Uh, Belgian defense since the first inning. He's had back-to-back -back, um, one, two, three innings. And a call to the bullpen. And that will be it for Eric Esquerdo. Frank Hernandez, right-handed pitcher, who is only 15 years old. Will take the mound in the bronze medal game of the under-23 men's European Championship in baseball. Hernandez pitched two innings, allowing one hit, walked two, and that hit actually was an extra base hit. He faced seven batters, and he threw one wild pitch. No strikeouts recorded on this young hurler from Team Spain. I would call this game a moral game because it's tough to get back and be focused after you lose the semi semi-final game which ends your hopes to qualify for the World Cup but still being third is much more different than finishing without the medal. Definitely. And what it comes down to is that these, all these athletes are really in love with this game. And they're gonna leave everything on the field. So now, Robin Rubens, the pitcher, is hitting. And the pitch was 126 kilometers. And missed zone for a ball. And that's a strike, 127. Yeah. So 
line comes from the third base coach. One out, runners on first and second. One ball, one strike. Swing and foul. To a sensitive area where that ball ricocheted off the bat of Robin Rufens. It's okay. So one and two to Rufens. And that's two and two as Rob Lewis is drawing some attention at second base. in the dugout and that's dead ball still two and two going through the rosters of all the teams Juan Fernandez is the fourth youngest player participating in this championship. There are three younger ones for Team Belarus. One 14-year-old in this yes. under-23 men's. Robin Rubens falls this one off. Balls, two strikes, two runners on bases. And one away. This one misses the zone. That makes it full count. Great save by Ivan Alba, catcher. Preventing the runners from moving to second and third. Another foul ball, this one will make it to the parking lot. There's the pitch, and that's a walk. Four will load the bases with one out for Yves Busmans. Flied out to Robert Defena. Busmans hitting 154. Two out of 13. With two walks, two hit by pitches, but no strikeout. So he's very likely to put the ball in play. Fouls off the first pitch. Team Belgium had bases loaded in the first inning resulting in a run on a walk and then a double play and of course forced out at home plate that was first inning now there's one away base is loaded so the spanish team is hoping for a ground ball into a double play there's the page that's up in the air for the center fielder Luis Rodriguez. Uh, runner tags up the throw to third. Belgium takes a two run lead. And tagging up was also Axel Busmans who advances to third. Robin Rufens stays put on first. As you can see, that was a not very good read by. Louis Rodriguez, who was catching the ball, moving backwards towards the fence, so he had no power for the throw to third base.
which was a good choice, but he had no chance of throwing the runner out at home plate. So runners in the corners. Oil about it. Oh. it played. And to Spanish disappointment, as you can hear it. The ball was called. Maybe that's why the players are on the side and the umpires behind the dish. <laughs> Yes, he went. Strike charged for that swing by Jeremy Boyleba. I've heard yesterday from uh, Jan Benesch, the photographer of Czech Baseball Association and Softball Association, that uh, one of the, I think, Belgium umpire in his last game he said in the dugout, calling the game from there because he was just showing the players that they can see it better. One ball, two strikes. One-two count on Jeremy Boyleba. Hit by a pitch. That loads the bases again. Fourth Belgian batter hit by a pitch. Combined with two or uh, three walks in the fourth inning. So that's seven players put on base for free. That's like starting every inning with runners on first and second. All right, Sam Bulens now batting. And ball misses low outside. Ball one. No strikes. And that's ball three. Stopped by Ivan Alba. Now, if I'm not mistaken, after that last uh, hit by pitch, Momir Jankovic issued a warning to, to Frank Hernandez. Any other hit by pitch would result in him being tossed out. Very likely. Strike is called three and one. Well, I wouldn't say that the Spanish pitchers are hitting the players on purpose. No, definitely not. But and there's a hit towards the shortstop. Forced out at second base. And the, this half of the inning as Belgium takes another run and expanding the gap to nothing. As the Spanish team will go to bat and that will be the right fielder, Roybert de Gena, who grounded out in his previous at bat. Followed by Luis Rodriguez, who has the only hit for Team Spain. And then he stole second base. And the 
third better up is Alejandro Sainz who will fly ball to left field Roberto Cana is hitting 263 5 out of 19 which is now 5 out of 20 so it's Protože na konci toho zápasu, jak jsem fotil, tak tam byla ta double play, já jsem ho držel a fotil a to zaostřilo borce v zadním poli. No, to je to asi nejblíž v středu, ne? To chytá něco, nebo? Jo. To je to zrpělivost. Je to odvyklý, ale to dá. Takže jsme vám vám začít. Bottom half of inning number four as Moj Mirjankovic paints the plate. Okay. First pitch by Robin Rubens is a strike. This one is a ball. The center fielder Sam Bjorns goes back and makes the catch. shouting from the dugout. It's the last time up Luis Rodriguez hit a line drive over the third baseman. Line drive over three. <laughs> over the head of Tim Frachtert. Now taking second pitch. Robin Rufens. And even count, one ball, one strike. One ball, two strikes to Luis Rodriguez. With one down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And off timing and a bad hop of the ball, resulting in a second hit by Luis Rodriguez. So Rodriguez two for two and Tying run at the plate, represented by Alejandro Sainz. The ball just slipped on the edge of the grass and the red dirt. And no time for Lucas Ritze to react. Actually slipped on the dirt. Maybe on some foot print or something, because the field otherwise is pretty solid. One ball to Alessandro Fez and one strike now. So it's one and one. Run on first base, one out. Pick off to first base. Not a bad attempt. Yeah, but. Luis Rodriguez was ready for that play. Got back in time. So here comes the pitch. And it's hit towards the shortstop out at second base. And throw off the line at first. 
So Luis Rodriguez is out 6-4 as Alejandro Sainz reaches first base on the throw. Now batting number 27, the designated hitter, Louis Sywall, who struck out in his first at bat. It's the only strikeout of the Spanish team so far. As you watch. see, yeah, on the replay, Benjamin Goffal getting taken out by Luis Rodriguez's slide towards second base. Shook it off. But according to the umpires, there was no intention to take him out or to break up the double play. Break up the double play illegally. So runner goes, a swing and a miss, and the throw is in time, on target, and Alejandro Sainz is tagged out to end this fourth inning after which Team Belgium doubles their lead. It's now a two-run game. We'll be right back with fifth inning action of this bronze medal game. TV live broadcasting. Welcome back. You see the scoreboard. In Spain still zero. Belgium leading to nothing after four innings of this bronze medal game. The under 23 European Championship in men's baseball. So now batting number one. Second baseman, Benjamin Gufa, has been on base every time. But hit by pitch and a hit. Now take the first pitch for ball. One of the two Belgian players with a hit in this game. This time sends it in the air and once again, Robert Lithena with a great running catch. This time, going into center field. And steals a successful head away from Benjamin Goffard. They'll bring the shortstop, Lucas Rizzi, to the plate. He was hit by a pitch and then lined out to Tim Francisco Riestra. This time hits it towards Eduardo Moreto on the run, makes the throw in time. So effective start for Spanish defense. And that brings to bat number 43, Rob Lewis, who was also on base every time, walked and singled and scored in his second at bat. After sacrifice fly by Eve Pusmans. Takes the first pitch for ball. That misses outside. Two balls, no strike for Rob Lewis. And that one is in. I mean, inside for a ball, number three. And 
That one misses high outside for Walk. So for the third time, Rob Lewis is on base. Now batting number 15, the third baseman, Tim Ferachter. He reached on a fielder's choice. His first time out, that was when the Spanish defense played the force out at home. Sacrificed to advance his colleagues once again on first base, but this time a sacrifice bunt, of course, not one of the options. As two, two up near the top of the fifth inning. And that's high for ball, one and one. We're going to check the swing, but first base umpire Roy van de Wateringen. Shows that he did not swing that pitch. And strike is called, that makes it one and two. Pitch. And that's number five, if I'm not, not mistaken. That's correct. So most of the Belgian batters have been hit by pitch in this game. Right, none of them twice. Yeah, not, so not there are still four more to go. <laughs> One of them, Axel Busmans. Right. Possible target. Uh, was grounded into double play to end the first inning and then walked. That's last time up. Now he has runners on first and second and takes the first pitch for a strike. That was 135 kilometers per hour. Fifteen year olds on. There it goes. And he is tagged out. After throw to Francisco Riestra by Hernandez. Luis out at third. Caught stealing. And that ends the top half of the fifth inning. Going into the bottom. Spanish will be led off by the designated hitter Luis Sayol. Sayol struck out in his first at bat. And then he didn't finish his last plate appearance because Alejandro Sainz was caught stealing. And he's been hitting 385. You can see some motivational speech or here at least from the dugout of Team Spain. As Belgium takes the field. Is ready to finish the fifth inning. In which Team Belgium a little surprised to the semifinals, but they earned it. Taking the lead over Spain to nothing. Uh, we still have a lot of baseball to go. Well, actually, halfway through the game, barring any possible extra innings. At this point, Team Belgium two runs closer to that bronze medal. Still needs 15 outs, which is quite a lot. Okay, 
right, so Luis Sayol takes the first pitch for a strike. That one foul for strike two. Foul ball, so it's still strike two and breaking pitch, very low. That was able to touch that ball. This one is foul. Very close. And both umpires call it at the same time. And, pretty and it always helps that they made the same call. <laughs> right. Slovak call. Cooperation or. of the, the play the first base umpires as Sayol strikes out. For the second time this game. Well, to be precise, it was Slovak and Czech call because Moimir Jankovic is calling the first base, I mean, home plate, as David Kulanek is third. And now batting number one, Francisco Riestra. Taking first pitch for a strike. So one out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Nobody on. One strike on the batter. And Tim Rubens with the second pitch. This is down low. One and one. Time misses high. Two and one. Wonder that discussion was about possible catcher interference. No, I don't think so. I think it was just too much of emotion by the hitter, and he... Well, Rob Lewis, although he bobbles the ball, manages to field it in time to beat Francisco Riestra to the back at first, and that'll bring the shortstop, Eduardo Moreto. Who has been hitting 500 before the game. Now, he's hitting forced out. Second time trying to bunt for a base hit, called a strike. So, pitch number two. This time he bunts foul. So no balls, two strikes on Eduardo Moreto. This one is high, too high for Moreto to chase it. One and two, two outs. And that is hit foul. A nice piece of the ball, but Down the right field line, that was called foul. So one and two, and strikeout looking is Eduardo Moreto. And of course, he doesn't like it. So that was inning number five, and we'll be back after the break.
Cleo TV live broadcasting. Welcome to the bronze medal game here in Bernard, the Municipal Baseball Stadium, as Team Spain is trailing two nothing to Team Belgium. Uh, the Spanish team lost only one game the whole tournament, and that was the semi-final yesterday with the Czech team, 7-3. On the other hand, the Belgians have two losses. Their record is 3-2. And, and well, as we enter the sixth inning, Axel Pusmans will be the batter as he didn't finish his time at bat. As Rob Lewis was caught stealing third base, trying to use the rhythm and timing of a young pitcher, Frank Hernandez, who is now pitching for Spain. So there's the first pitch, and it's high, so that's ball one. Strike is called. So one and one for Axel Busmans, the catcher of Team Belgium. And this one is all hitting the dirt. Two and one. Even two and two. 137 kilometers per hour. That's how That's fast this was clocked. Heat for a 15 year old kid. That misses inside. Full count. Three balls, two strikes, nobody on. Here in the top of sixth inning. Tip of the bat will land in the unplayable ball territory. And Frank got, I mean, messed up the timing of Axel Pusman, but he was still able to fall off that pitch. This time he misses high inside, which is another walk. The pitcher Robin Rufens, who also walked in the fourth inning, stepping up to the plate and with nobody out. And uh, that will be it for Frank Hernandez. Team Spain is struggling on the mound today, hitting five hitters and walking five in, I would say, five innings because there's no out yet here in the sixth. And the leadoff hitter was walked. As we get number 28, Javier Sanchez. Sanchez, a bit older, he's 20 years old, the righty in this tournament, appeared in one in inning so far, four at-bats, one hit, one strikeout. And I think for the Spanish team now, the most important stats is he didn't walk anybody. And... Neither did he hit, hit the market. And, yeah. Because <laughs> 10 runners already from Team Belgium were bored by free base, whether it was hit by pitch or walked.
So Sanchez is warming up. And the pitcher, Robin Ruvens, will be up to bat. He's 0 for 1 with the walk. And then uh, Eves Pusmans will come to bat. He's also 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly, bringing in uh, Rob Lewis for the second run. Now a combined total of the Spanish pitching staff in the tournament is nine batters hit by pitch. In this game, we already have more than half of the total sum of the hit by pitches in the previous five games. So Axel Pusman's on first base. Robin Rubens now batting. The sacrifice bunt is the play. Fouled. Is the play, especially with the pitcher at bat. Third baseman drawn in closer. Pick off to first base, not in time. As Jose Alamon is still was still trying to see if Axel Pusmans will lose contact with the bag. And another foul bunt. So two failed bunt attempts result in an 0-2 count for Robin Rufens. So now, Belgians will have to hope for a base hit or a productive out. series of oh, balls. Hit towards shortstop and a double play ball. Results in two outs. A 6 4 3 double play retires. Both Pusmans and Rufens, and the other twin brother, Eve Pusmans, stepping up to the plate now with bases clear and two away. And as we said, he's 0 for 1 with a fly ball to the right field, Roy Bendejena, and the center fielder, Rodriguez. Now he takes a big hack for strike one. Lines up, and there's a base hit for Eve Pusman. Nice line drive for center field. So another runner on with Jeremy Baleba. Johnny's full name is Jeremy Baleba. Hitless in seven at bats, including the one today. It's eight and hit by pitch once. Takes the first pitch for ball. And swings and misses. Now this one that makes it one and one. If Pusman takes a big lead at first base. And he 
goes. Close. The throw by Alba is on target. Great. Slide by Pusmans, though, to beat that throw. Strike is called on, on home plate, so it's one and two. But a stolen base for Eve Pusmans. So runner in scoring position. One ball, two strikes on the batter. And foul ball. Still one and two. Pitch and swing and miss. That's out number three. Strikeout for Jeremy, Jeremy Bailoba Belehan. And the Belgium offense in the sixth inning. And the Spanish team will go to bat, leading off with a first hitter. The lead off, Vicente Velasquez. For the third time in this game, actually, every time he stepped up to the plate, he was the lead off batter. Interestingly, the same case will be in the top of the seventh for some villains. Unless, of course, he is replaced by a pinch hitter or substituted. Bottom of the sixth inning coming up. And just about the right time for Team Spain to start a, you know, just to get something going in offense. They haven't done much. Uh, we have two hits, both by Luis Rodriguez. Apart from him, a walk, Jose Alemán, and hit by pitch, Francisco Riestra. Vicente Velázquez. Grounded out twice in his previous at-bats. The shortstop and the third baseman. And this one is called foul, so he was still in the box when the ball hit him again. And that's about what the Belgium um, uh, manager is coming to ask. In my opinion, it was the right call by the umpire. Now ground out to... I mean, uh, to Lucas Ritze, a ground ball, but he can actually ground call it a ground yeah. out since Lucas Ritze once again Proved he's worth the national team jersey. So one out here in the bottom of the sixth inning as Ivan Alba is coming to bat. He grounded out to pitcher and to the catcher. So now the third, uh, uh, first baseman is up. Yeah. One, two, three. That's strike two for Ivan Alba, Spanish catcher, who's been hitting 318 before this game. The ball is called as Alba was trying to get a time called. So one and two, swing and a miss. Strikeout for Ivan Alba. 
and Jose Alemán. I mentioned before, is one of the few base runners to Spanish bat so far. He walked his first time up, but then grounded out to the shortstop Rizzi. In his second plate appearance. And this one misses low as Tim Ruvens through four strikeouts in uh, five and two thirds. And he walked one and hit one. And a strike is called. Two and one. Three and one. Good hitters count for Jose Aleman. And he hits this one far. Back goes Eve Pusmans Eve and makes the catch. So that's it for the sixth inning, and we'll have an interview with somebody on Team Belgium. After six completed innings, the score is still 2-0 Belgium with three hits, no errors. Spain has two hits and no errors as well. We have decent crowd here at the Municipal Stadium and we expect many more people to come for the finals. My microphone. I'm here with uh, Kieran Vamels, uh, the starting pitcher of the yesterday semifinal against the Dutch. Uh, nice to have you here. Nice to have you. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, it's an honor. Uh, what can you tell me about uh, yesterday's loss? Uh, that was, you know, the do or die game. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say about that? Uh, just some things didn't go our way. Uh, had a couple errors, had a couple uh, went deep in counts and could have won two different ways. Just uh, wasn't our game and I think we come, we're just coming back and we're, we made history already and next year we'll come back or whatever and we'll, we'll get, just keep on going up, making Belgium stronger and stronger every year, I think. So uh, I was pretty proud and uh, had a lot of fun up the mound and, you know, just enjoying the game. So. Well, speaking about enjoying the game, now you're in the lead, uh, two to nothing. What does it take to maintain that lead against such a strong team like uh, the Spanish? Uh, just a lot of cheering and kind of a positive en enforcement in the dugout. Uh, there's all like all the guys, the team is a strong team to always pick each other up, and uh, I think it just takes a lot of heart. I mean, yesterday, unfortunately, we didn't get that, but uh, today I think we're ready to get third, and looks like we are ready to go. So. Hopefully we win this one. And when it comes to the overall performance, you're going to end up uh, in the worst case scenario in fourth place. Is that a success or disappointment? It's still a success. It's been, uh, it's been a while since Belgium's been in this spot, but uh, you know we're not ever satisfied. You can always get better. You can always get bigger, and then hopefully top uh, 
well, hopefully one year we go to the World Series and, you know, it's world champion, sorry, but uh, hopefully we get there and you now that's the goal. We're always going to make Belgium better and better and hopefully one year everyone's going to be scared of Belgium this uh, next time. So that'll be the, that, that's the goal. All right, thanks a lot and best of luck. Okay, we're joining the game again, and as you saw, that Sam Bulens got on base due to hit that bounced over the head of third baseman, uh, Francisco Riestra. Then he was caught stealing, trying to avoid the tag with a slide, and now Benjamin Gufa got on base on a hit in a 5-6 hole. So Belgium with one out, runner on first base. Time is called by the catcher. Strike on Lucas Rizzi. So here in the seventh, one out. Gufa on first base. And Ritzy batting with one strike, no balls. And this one misses low. Great save by Spanish catcher Ivan Alba. He's got some range there. Balls, no strikes, two and no count for Lucas Ritze. Pick off attempt at first. Go for diving safely. All right, my colleague got confused by the board. It's one and one to Lucas Ritze. The first pitch was a strike called. Sometimes the boards are not right, but that happens. We all make mistakes. One and one. Uh, first base, top of the seventh inning. There's the pitch and hit towards the center field. Luis Rodriguez is there and makes the catch. So that's two outs. Ritzy remains hitless with one ground out and two fly balls and hit by pitch in his first at bat. And now Rob Lewis up to bat. He's been on base every time he faced the Spanish pitchers. He walked twice, hit once. He was caught stealing at third base. Lufa takes a big lead, ball is high. Two players of Team Belgium were caught stealing. Three, actually. Here's the pitch, and ball two. now taking another pitch that misses and outside 3 and 0 Rob Lewis who already has two walks now very close to a third one and we'll see if he has he has a green light on the next pitch Backdoor attempt. Strike called, so apparently no green light there. 
three and one. Two outs. Set up outside. And a foul ball, that makes it three, two. Baseman, Jose Aleman is playing behind the runner. And the pitch is high. Ball four. So number three for Rob Lewis. Walk number six. Issued by Team Spain. And that is it for Javier Sanchez. So another pitching change on the mound for, for the Spanish. And we're here to see who will come to the mound from the bullpen. It's Orlando Mosquera. 21 year old right handed pitcher will replace Javier Sanchez. Mosquera hasn't pitched so far. In the tournament, if I'm not mistaken, this will be his first outing on the mound of the Under-23 Europeans Championship. And same as yesterday's, Team Spain uses four pitchers in this game, but we still have. Two innings and one out to go. So Gufa moves to scoring position to second base as Rob Lewis was walked. Which brings Tim Frachter, number 15, third baseman, up to bat. Frachter sacrificed, used a sacrificed bunt, and was hit by pitch, hit into a forced out. So he's 0 for 1 in this game. Hitting 133 before the game, so now he is two for 16. You saw helicopter passing over the field. And by airport, Bruno allows for this. Occasional visit from the sky. So, Orlando Mosquera warmed up and ready to hurl towards Juan Alba and Tim Ferrante. That pitch was 130 kilometers per hour. Pitch. It's a foul ball. For strike two. 
No balls. Two strikes on the batter. There we go. And it's a double, double steal. Sorry. A double steal by the Belgian offense and both the runners, Rob Lewis on second and Benjamin Gofal at third are in scoring position. Yeah, since it was the double steal, we had a double announcement. <laughs> Very appropriate, I guess. For so one ball, two strikes. Pitch. Foul ball. Just missed the glove for potential foul tip. So for Achtert battling. Nothing is the lead, and they have two runners on. Two away as well. Two strikes. And two balls. So, Fernando Mosquera. Another delivery. Yeah, there's probably way too many signs. It takes quite a long time before he pitches. Oh! This Popped up in the air. Tough oh. one. First base side and it's the second baseman, Vicente Velasquez, who makes the catch on the run. That retires the side and the Belgians leave two runners stranded on the bases, but they still have the lead going into the bottom of the seventh inning. Where Spain will be led out by Robert Vicena, the right fielder, followed by Luis Rodriguez, the only successful batter of this Spanish lineup today, with two hits, two for two. And then Alejandro Sainz. And then closer is also the championship game, it's only three hours away. So, in the stands you saw the Czech fans already and here's the Belgian group of supporters cheering for the designated visiting team. For me. Five hits for Team Belgium, two hits for Team Spain. Score, as mentioned, 2 nothing for Belgium. No errors so far. As we're getting ready for the bottom of the seventh inning. And the red Hanna is up to bat. Still Raman Rufens on the mound for Team Belgium. The first pitch. Strike. Breaking pitch. And that's a liner hit to center field as Sambulance throws to second base, base hit by Robert De Hena. And the second player to record a hit, the Spanish lineup, third hit overall 
And now danger flashing over the defense of Belgium since Robert Luis has two hits today. And uh, Luis Rodriguez. I mean, Luis Rodriguez, of course. And takes this pitch for a strike. Spanish dugout is alive again. And he hits this one. To left field on the run caught by Jeremy Boyalba. And that means Roberto Sena will return back to first. One out. And now up to bat is Alejandro Sainz. As a fly out and hit into a forced out. And strike called on signs. Sign comes from third base coach. Bunt. Down towards the pitcher and the first baseman. It's uh, Robert Lewis making the throw, but tossed it over. Down the two Benjamin go send him. And no. He stop at third base. Alejandro Sainz. Good job. Hustling towards the uh, first base side. You see him laying down the bunt then. Gufold probably just focusing too much on that batter runner approaching him towards first base. Took his eye eyes off the ball. And sent it rolling towards right field line. It was picked up by Yves Pusmans. In the meantime, Sainz advanced to second, while the, the Senna is uh, third. Strike is called on Louis. Sayol, the designated no, hitter. No, there's a new player on, and that's Pablo Gonzalez, is now hitting number seven. Let's see. And tying run in scoring position for Spain. Gonzalez he appeared in one game, three at bats, no hit, and that won't change now. But it's a sacrifice fly that will make it a one run game once again. Both the runners tagged up and safely advanced to base. In Robert, Robert De Sena's case, that means first run on the board for the Spanish 2 1. The lead for Belgium, uh, two away. And the uh, tying run is only 90 feet away. As number 25, Roger Porchar is approaching the bat to bat. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. 117 kilometers per hour on this breaking pitch. And he hits one. Towards the second base side on the run, making the throw is Benjamin Gufo. So they finally retire the side, and Spanish are on the board now. Trailing only one to two. 
after a successful pinch hitting sacrifice fly by Pablo Gonzalez. We'll be back with top of the eighth inning. TV live broadcasting. Welcome back to the bronze medal game here in Brno at the Municipal Baseball Stadium of the European Championship. Man under 23. In the last inning, Spain was able to collect a run, so making one run ball game as we are about to start the eighth inning. That will be led off by Axel Pusmans, the catcher. And Belgium hoping for expanding the lead. So Pusmans already in the box. Pain or it is Orlando Esquera, fourth pitcher of the game, and misses this one. So, one ball, no strikes. Hit hard in the left field for a base hit. Pusmans is one for two. He hit into a double play in the first inning, then he walked twice. And another pitcher is coming in for Team Spain, making it fifth pitcher of this game. And that is number 12, Stalin Taveras. Taveras. Keep bringing older pitchers. After that, 15 year old Frank Hernandez, 20 year old Orlando Mosquera, and now 23 year old, so 21 year old Orlando Mosquera, now 23 year old. Starling Taveras. And you cannot go any older at this tournament. Starling Taveras pitched two and one thirds of innings, in which it's two strikeouts, no hits, no walks, so, uh, zero in the earned run average. Category. And they sure hope for another zero out there. The team in white uniforms and the team in black uniforms is hoping to ruin Taveras's stats. Again, long chat with Ivan Alba, the catcher. Moimir Jankovic is bringing the catcher back to the home plate. We go on in the game. And now up to bat is number 10, the pitcher, Robin Rubens, for Team Belgium. Who is two hitting into a double play and one walk. Ball is called. Ruvens showed bunt and <laughs> took it back. <laughs> One ball, no strikes. Run on first base. <laughs> 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 
takes his lead. The bunt is down towards the pitcher. And he will toss the ball to Vicente Vasquez for four out of the sacrificed. Robert Rufens. Which brings to bat number 12, the right fielder, Eves Pusmans, who's one for two with a base hit. Sacrifice fly and a fly out to right field. And a stolen base. game here in the eighth inning. Runner on second base, one out. Time is called. This one's He's going to try to bat in his brother. Swing and a miss. So it's kind of a family business for Pusmans. Huge swing by Pusmans. Balls, one strike. Six hits for Low Jim. Another time. Battle of nerves between the pitcher and the right fielder. Uh, misses low. Down in the dirt. Good block by Alba. Also a good block by, by Eve Puspans. <laughs> prevented Spanish catcher from picking that ball up in a hurry. Giving his brother a little time to lead the ball properly. This one falls it off. So it's one and two. With one out. One out here in the top of the eighth inning. said in the interview, it takes a lot of cheering. <laughs> Another great block by Ivan Alba. That makes it two and two. Sitting in the Belgian dugouts are the coaches, not even them, they're standing up. So, just maybe the physiotherapist and one of the players sitting on the stand. Oh, that's strike three, big hack. Misses the ball, that's big strikeout for Starling Taveras. Starling Taveras. That'll bring. Jeremy Boyle Liban. I'm sure that the Spanish defense is more than happy to see this batter come into a play. Like you mentioned before, still waiting for for his hit, and this will be most likely his last opportunity. The yeah, 23 wins your big championship. A pickoff attempt at second base, but Pusmans. good reaction. Axel Pusmans. While it would be a nice story. Watch the pickoff again. And Jeremy Bailaba hits Axel Pusman in. It's his only hit in the most important moment. Takes a strike. Uh, 
That's most likely to happen in Hollywood. Usually real life is a little bit harder. But we'll see. You never know in a game of baseball. And that's strike number two. balls two strikes two outs run on second base <laughs> this one is straight to the pitcher Torres tossing to Aleman for the third out Despite Busman's another successful. So again in the ninth inning, Sam Bulans, the first hitter of Team Belgium, will lead off. As the Spanish team, it will be Eduardo Moreto, uh, probably the best option for Team Spain as Moreto was hitting 500. Today he's 0 for 2, but Still, he proves there's some quality in hitting. That kind of means that he is, he is due. And Robin Rubens still on the mound, the only pitcher who also hits for Team Belgium. So the question is how tired he is. And thanks to Pusman taking his position after being left on base. So six outs for Team Belgium to play with no runs if they don't score themselves. So Eduardo Moreto now facing Robin Rubens for the third time in this game. Get into a four style and struck out. Strike is called. And this one is hit to center field. He wants there picking more up and single to lead off. So like you mentioned, great player for Spanish to start this team off and now the tying run is on first. Yeah, up to bat should be Vicente Velasquez, which and it's and you see the hit it is once him. again. And he hits three ground balls, two to shortstop, one to third base. So probably Bunt is the best option now for Spain. Well, they want to make sure they drive in that run and the right call at this moment with this player. Starting. And He's here we go. Yep. So a uh, bunt towards the pitcher. Robin Rufin's making the throw. It's a little off target, but Rob Lewis able to keep his foot on the back. And forces out Velasquez. That'll bring the catcher, Ivan Alba, with the runner in scoring position. Right, Ivan Alba is 0 for 3 with ground balls hit to the pitcher and a little hit to catcher and strike out and we saw the on the nice play by the first baseman Rob Lewis that is a slow for ball number one just 
said Alba 0 for 3 in this game. Okay, now Lucas Rizzi was taking the runner back. But overall, Alba hitting 318. Nice block, and the runner goes. Sliding in, and the throw is bad, and he will stay on third. Still a chance for for the Spanish AF. Only one out, so probably a good call. Don't be overly aggressive. When you have that tying run this late in the game. And also Eduardo Moreto didn't know where the ball was. And I don't think that the third base coach was. Well, he he wasn't even looking at the coach. That's the thing. He was arguing with the umpire about. Being in his way. And that's ball three for Ivan Alba. With the tying run 90 feet away. A strike. No umpire likes yeah, you to make the call for him. Th this cocky <laughs> approach to three and one swing and a miss and a pretty big emotional outburst by catcher. Now we'll see if he can regroup or take that anger with him. And this one is up in the air. In the air. No. Is it deep enough though for a sacrifice fly? He's not going. It's not. Yeah. Nice backup by Robin Rufens. Robin Rufens. Two outs. And the chances are equal now as Jose Alemon is coming to bat. He's been hitting. 263 before the game. Now he's out. 0 for 2 with the wall. So what drama right here for the bronze medal game. He hits one towards the shortstop. Shortstop makes the play. And no. the throw is off target. Tie game. In the bottom of the eighth. In Spanish, you see that. All that excitement, all those emotions that they've been <laughs> showing the through. whole tournament. <laughs> showing, yeah. Now they're letting him out. And it's this man, 21, who's a Aleman. See, barehanded pickup by Lucas Ricci. But the throw way off target, nowhere near Rob Lewis. No chance for. Dodging first baseman. Well, for Ritzy it was the only possibility to make the out. Because the run was there already. Ritzy now really mad, throwing his glove to the dirt. That would be probably the play of the tournament if he made that play because it, the ball was muffled by the pitcher a little bit. So now Spain has a winning run on a go-ahead run on first base. It's eighth inning. Yeah. Roy Bertagena has a hit. Uh, one ground out and fly out. Now he takes a strike. This one is popped high. Axel Pusman's underneath the ball. Doesn't make the catch. So tough play on that towering pop up through the foul zone. Also for the catcher. Sun was in the way. 
as well. Able to get his mitt on the ball. And we knocked it down. So an extra life. Usually this mistake costs you dear. We'll see. I don't want to be the prophet here, but... Up in the air once again, this time by the third base, and Tim Frachtert making the catch for the third out. In the eighth inning, one important run made it across and played. So in the past two innings, the Spanish team able to tie the game. And going into the last inning, or, well, we should say that, yeah. So get something to drink because this might be a long game. And we'll have a little break. We'll be back for game number nine. TV live broadcasting. Welcome back to Brno to the bronze medal game. As we are approaching the ninth inning, the game is tied at two. That means one of the teams will be very happy after the, this game, and the other one will understandably be very sad. But both teams are playing great baseball here. I'm pretty sure the fans are enjoying the game as we are and the team Belgium starts the ninth inning with a leadoff hitter Sam Bjorns playing center field the fourth time in this game leading off and he bunts and he was in the box so Foul ball. So he's leading off for the fourth time in his fifth at bat in this game. So, one strike on the batter. And that one misses high. One and one. Talvez Taveras takes the signs. Delivering the pitch, swing and a miss. That makes it one and two for Sam Bulans. He was caught stealing in the seventh inning. Four. Belgium still caught the act. of those in the throw by Ivan Alba. And one by cautious play by the pitcher. Yes. Two pitchers ago. I should say a yep. slow roller towards second base, a toss to first, and it this beats the runner. Close call. Disappointment of Sambulance. So Benjamin Bufa, but you can watch it again and be the judge. Vicente Velasquez, actually. Second baseman here for the Spanish. So that brings Benjamin Bufa. He's been uh, two for three with two base hits, some walk, and one fly out to right field. This one is high. 
for a ball or one. Swing and a miss. Makes it one and one. So here's the pitch, swing, so the shortstop. Eduardo Moreda on the throw, down in, in the time. dirt, great pickup by Jose Aleman. Two outs. Eduardo Moreda tried to put all of his power into that and ball. One big hop, nicely caught by Jose Alemon. And now batting is Lucas Rizzi, who's for three in this game. Ball one. He walked in his first at bat and lined out to the third baseman and rounded out to short top. Fly out to the center fielder, yeah, Luis ball. Rodriguez. Just now it's ball, ball, one and one. No. 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 That foul ball. Pitch is high, which makes it two and one. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Top of the ninth. Ball three. Three and one. And the pitch is high. For the second time in his game, Lucas Ritze reaches first. He's back in the first inning when he was hit by a pitch. This time he walks. And that brings to bat uh, Rob Lewis, who's been on base every single time. And as well, the Spanish manager. And that get might be it for number six. Starlin Taveras. Number six is Frank, Frank Hernandez. Hernandez. He's been in the game already, so he's out of the question. So it was just a conference with Stalin Taveras. And Rob Lewis has four, but three walks and a hit in this game. Scored one run. Swings this one. Hits it foul. Young Czech baseball players from the town of Trebich. Watching their role models. This one misses outside. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Big hack by Rob Lewis. One and two. Very 
goes and fall. One and two. Here comes the pitch, and that's hit towards the second baseman for an out. Vincent Velasquez to Jose Alemon for the third out. And bottom of the ninth coming up. And the Spanish team has a chance to finish the game. And then I have the upper hand. As Luis Rodriguez will be the lead off here. And we can see the Last out. Good read by Vicente Velasquez. Taking the handy hop and making the easy out. First base. Just a quick reminder if the game is tied after ninth inning, there's <laughs> tie break rule on. The last two hitters will be placed on second and first base. And the hitter who is due to hit will come to bat. So if the game is tied, there will be Raul Pluis on first base and Lucas Rizzi on second base for Team Belgium. But still, Spain has a chance to win this game in regular playing time. Strike one for Robin Rubens, who's pitching his ninth inning right now. There's a hit. Who's the short stop? Lucas Ritzi has a problem. And he made Duking that play. ball out of his glove, but still manages to make the throw in time. So one out here in the top, uh, bottom of the ninth inning. And now up to bat is Alejandro Sainz. <laughs> who was twice on base paths. As you watch the out by Lucas Rizzi and Rob Lewis, here's the pitch for ball two. And that's strike. Two and one on Alejandro Sainz. Swing and a miss, two and two. I don't see anybody in the Belgian bullpen. This one is hit to Tim Verachter. Picked up again on the throw. Not caught by Robert Lewis, the ball gets away and they'll stop. Alejandro Sainz on second. The error. We'll put the winning run in scoring position. So now, up to bat is Pablo Gonzalez, who had that Sacrifice fly in his first at bat, so he's 0 for 0. The pitch is in there for a strike. Yeah. 
lot of shouting and cheering from the third base side of, of the stadium. And the Belgian. From the dugout, dugout. and the bullpen. Yeah. And the Belgian dugout. Now sort of quiet and nervous. Nice breaking pitch called ball. Two and one. in there nice breaking pitch 110 kilometers per hour two and two impressive performance by Robin Rufins despite the fact that the Spanish are now just a bit closer to that's hit three. two third baseman Tim Frachter who checks the runner and makes the throw so it's two outs Runner still on second base, Alejandro Sainz. And now up to bat is lefty, Roger Porcar. Porcar grounded out to second baseman, Gufo. Back in the seventh inning. And this ball misses the zone, ball one. Two balls, no strike. Run on second base. That's in there. Two and one. One swing in the bat can end this game or send it to extra innings. Nice pitch, just a bit outside. Three and one, great hitters count. And that's a walk. Tied the game, Eduardo Moreno is now up to bat. Strike one, and uh, Tente Velasquez moved to second base, and Jose Alemán brought him in. This time, Moreto has a chance, hit and hit by hit. pitch, the uh, Belgium claims that he Put his leaned into it. Yeah, leaned into the ball, into the pitch. But, but Mami Jankovic won't allow any discussion. That was clearly visible from, from his gesture. Bases loaded, bottom of the ninth inning, and two out. Every little boy's dream. <laughs> if it goes well. So, uh, for the fifth time, Vicente Velasquez will face Robin Rubens. Four at bats, rounded out. Strike one is called. Last at bat, as I mentioned, he moved over Eduardo Moreto. Swing and foul. 
Two strikes on the batter. No balls, two strikes. Base is loaded. Ninth inning, two outs. And this one is popped, shallow. All right field on the run. And Kuzman's makes the catch, so we'll go to extra innings. Tiebreaker will go apply, just like you explained earlier. So when we come back, 10th inning is coming up here in Berlin. TV live broadcasting. Welcome back to the Municipal Stadium here in Brno. As you can see, the game for the bronze medal between Spain and Belgium is tied after nine innings. So the tie break rule is applied now as uh, Lucas Rizzi will be put to second base. Rob Lewis will be on first base as Team Frachter is. A hitter who is up. In my opinion, they should have the game called tied and give both teams bronze medals, but that's uh, against the baseball nature. So we have to see one of the teams win. There we go. Dutch team. Anxiously awaiting their gold medal game, championship game, which will start in just over two hours. The Czech team is also at the stadium. We'll see. Spain used five pitchers so far, as Belgium is, is just one. Iron arm, Robin Rubens. Has pitched nine innings. So now, here we are with the 10 inning runner on first and second as Tim Frachter enters the box. The delivery by starting Tavares. This and one it is. And it gets away from Ivan Alba. He's been perfect the whole game when it comes to blocking. Pitches in the dirt. This time it gets away from him. About the most important moments in this game. So both the runners in scoring position. And a little discussion between him Farakter and the coach at third base. Now, now the pinch runner is in for Rob Lewis. Well, 
I'll tell you who that is as soon as we no. <laughs> see his number. Number 16. And Sina that Ballardini. is... So, play first base. And one ball, one strike to Tim Frachtert. Pitch goes to third base. Checks the runner. And easy. Easy out. That brings to bat Axel Pusmans. And if I'm not mistaken, he hit the winning hit against Team Germany. The quarterfinal game. That is correct. This one is one for two with two walks and a hit. And he is this one foul. So one strike to Alex Pusmans. Squeeze play, fouled. Brave decision by the Belgian coaches. Also interesting to sort of burn one of the best hitters in that lineup on suicide squeeze mode. Out of the zone for one and two. And the drama goes on as two runners in scoring position. One and two, top of the tenth inning. That one is fouled. And Axel Pussman says putting on a great fight. Another ball that the pitcher doesn't like. So one and two to Pusmans. Falls this one off also, a little high, but he managed to get a piece of the ball. And swing and a miss. Guzman strikes out. Big strikeout by Starlin Taveras. Two away. And as the pitcher, Robin Rubens, is up to bat. Imagine if he could do it all, pitching a complete game. Also, if anybody deserves it, then it's definitely this man. 
game is not about what you deserve. Ball one. Base side. You're going foul. We're witnessing a great game right here. One and one. Two outs. Top of the tenth inning. This is high, it makes it two and one. With the first base open. Real rush for Taveras. Use the pitches closer to the strike zone. Swing and a miss, that makes it two and two. Pitch. And that it's looks in that's the air. a hit. Will drop for first run of the extra innings. And Baladini is stopped at third. Great at bat by Robin Rubens. And the pitcher drives in the go ahead run for Team Belgium. It's 3 to 2 in the 10th. And runners in the corners. Good throw by Alejandro Sainz and the ball got there in a hurry into left field. And he prevented one more run from heading home. That throw out in the dirt. It's blocked by Ivan Alba. Now if Pusman can retaliate for his brother. Palatini, third base. That's ball, number two. And I wonder if Jeremy Bailaba will be up to bat. Cinderella story. <laughs> Pitch is high, that's, that makes it three balls, no strike. Boilenbach in the on deck circle. And this one hits Eve Pusman's fourth ball and another Hit by pitch. And we see a pinch hitter. And both managers are taking a time off. And another hitter will come to bat. And we'll tell you as soon as we Read his number, which is number four. So it's Lazil Brian Valdez. He appeared in two games, he started both of them. Three at bats. 
She struck out twice. Rounded out once. Walked three times though. And in this situation, a walk. Something they would definitely also take. Strike is called, so. 0 and 1 to Ryan Valdez. And pitch. And it misses high. 1 and 1. Fouled, a little low, but so it's one and two. Smart, smart wings. Boeing seven three seven, heading for Burgas in Bulgaria, party. Bruno Airport. More important stuff going on here at the diamond. One and two. Here's the pitch. High. Two and two. What a ball game. Tenth inning, bases loaded. Two and two. Brian Valdez at bat. Lino Ballardini. At third, foul. Robin Rubens at second base. And of course, Yves Pusmans on the first base. Two and two. Seven hits for Team Belgium. Misses high and the bases are loaded and the count is full with two outs. The runner will go. So there's no higher pressure than this situation right here. There's the payoff pitch. Drawing on a miss. Strikeout for Brian Valdez. So of the two runners that were placed on second and first to start this extra inning, one crosses the plate for the go-ahead run. Belgium leads three to two. And Spain has to answer with at least one run of their own. And they're better off because the runner on second base will be Eduardo Moreto, the shortstop with decent speed and the leadoff hitter Vicente Valdez, uh, Velasquez, will be placed on first base and the catcher, Ivan Alba, is up to bat. As we see new pitcher on the mound, number 17. It's Lucas Rizzi. He's shortstop. This game played second base uh, yesterday. Game against the Netherlands. So, what a transition from for uh, Robin Rubens, who's been put to shortstop. Well, 
because Ritzy was showing strong arm, throwing from the edge of the dirt and the grass. Perfect strike towards first baseman Rob Lewis. Let's see if he can do the same. Well, the first baseman now is, should be Lino Bardini. After that pitch hitting start, it is Lino Bardini. So some defensive changes in Team Belgium as Eduardo Moreto is jogging towards second base and Vicente Velasquez is placed on first base. Team Belgium three outs away from winning the bronze medal. So let's see a bunt is shown and it's placed down foul. Now the whole game is about execution. Spain needs two runs. Belgium needs three outs. Out at first Easy. base. Makes the throw. Sacrifice, bunt. Executed perfectly. On the offensive side by Ivan Alba. With a little bit of hesitation by Lucas Rizzi, but it's the outcome that counts. And that is first out, the bottom half of the 10th inning. Two runners in scoring position with one away. They're going to intentionally walk Jose Aleman. They don't have to. They do have to they throw it. They do have it. to throw it, yeah. They were this rule is not in effect yet. That's ball one. The problem with intentional walk is quite often after an intentional walk the pitcher has a problem to aim for the strike zone. And also very seldom the teams practice intentional walk. So mistakes do happen. Not the case walks here. Right so. here. So Robert Tejena is now up to bat. He has Same one goal. hit. And this is one for four. All flight to third baseman last time. Foul ball, strike one. Ball one, one and one. This one is popped. Probably an infield fly called. It's called. Infield fly by the umpires. And that makes it out number two. As the second baseman, Benjamin Gufa, caught the ball. And that brings Luis Rodriguez. He's two for four in this game. The 
pair of singles and one fly out and a ground out. This is what it comes down to. Base is loaded. Belgium Two one away. out away. Spain one hit away. Strike one. Good start for Lucas Rizzi on the mound. Foul ball, two strikes on the batter. No balls, two strikes. Bottom of the tenth, base is loaded. Spain one hit away from winning the game. Belgium one pitch away. Real baseball game here at Brno Municipal Stadium. So here's the pitch. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's caught. It's caught by Benjamin Gofal, the second baseman makes the catch. And Team Belgium takes the bronze. As you can see, they're very happy about it. No wonder. Yeah, so especially always, <laughs> always better to take the bronze than, than silver. So second loss for Team Spain in a great game here at Brno. And the true hero of this game is Robin, Robin Rubens. Pitched doubt, nine innings, arranged the winning run. And both teams showed a great performance. Very worthy of the bronze medal game. Of performance by both teams deserves a lot of respect. Like you mentioned, when this game started, it's always tough to find that motivation and inner strength to push yourself for this game. Draw the disappointment from losing in the semifinals, but both of these teams have managed to do that. Great game by both teams. Ten in a game. And took just over three hours, which means that we're under two hours from the last game of this under 23 men's European Championship in baseball in Bruno. As the team Netherlands will play the home team of Czech Republic. Both teams undefeated. So that's a true final game that is going to be broadcasted here on Playo TV in less than a two hours or maybe yeah less than two hours. So yeah. on, on behalf of all the crew of Playo TV, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back in some one hundred and ten minutes. And we hope you enjoyed the game as much as we did here in the booth. And hope to see you again at the finals, which will probably be broadcasted in Czech language. Thank you and goodbye as you watch the highlights of this game. This will be it from us.
Cleo TV, live broadcasting.